What's up y'all, Mr. Chronic here. I'm going to do another growers review for you today. So the strain that I'm going to talk about is Pineapple Express. First off, I want to do a big fat shout out to High Desert Botanicals in the Pine, Oregon. You guys are doing a, a great job. I want to do a shout out to Zion's Den and Ben. Thank you for all the quality glass that you provide me with. This is such a dope hat too. Now, back to Pineapple Express. Y'all are probably wondering, how come Mr. Chronic wants to give all this information out about Rowan Pineapple Express. How come he thinks he's a pro at it? Well, uh, Mr. Chronic is no pro, but I've grown Pineapple Express. Obviously, Mr. Topps grows to Pineapple Express, but I'll talk about that later in my flower review. So, let me give you some information, growers out there, on Pineapple Express, in case you're thinking about growing it. Here's some highs and some lows and some reasons why and some no's. All right. So, Pineapple Express's genetics from the clone-only strain, which is what Mr. Top Group is believed to be train wreck and times Hawaiian. Now, many seed banks have Pineapple Express, feminized and non-feminized. Most places that have it feminized use a White Widow to feminize it with. G G13 has seeds that finish in 56 days, they claim, and grow, I quote, awesome, unheard of quality, great yields, fast flowering, highly resinous, potent mentally and physically, incredible taste, and they can get them feminized. Now, I agree with them. It is some very, very quality, highly resinous buds. And I think that it grows best outdoors. The reason is why, because the parents are Hawaiian. And train wreck, both bred to be outdoors. The flowering time is medium depending on the phenotype you get. 56 to 67 days is what it's going to take you. Grows great outdoors, finishes in October. Train wreck is a classic strain bred outdoors, and so is Cali. So is bred for the outdoors, and so was Hawaiian, bred to be grown outdoors. So it's no surprise that chain, that Pineapple Express grows so good outside. It's going to grow 5 to 15 feet tall by the time it's finished, depending on the phenotype, the quality of your grow, the sun it gets, is it light assist, how, how long do you give it? Um, now there's other seed banks that have Pineapple Express. Um, Barney's Farm, Herbie Seeds. Gorilla Cannabis Seeds, Attitude Seed Bank carries it for many different places. Um, it's available all over the web. In Bend, Oregon, you can get Pineapple Express at the local dispensaries. And that is actually believed to be the clone-only strain. <clears throat> the flowers are generally long and stretched with a sativa-influenced look on the bud with very large, thick tops. It stretches three to five feet and beyond outside in flat when it flowers. Um, and it does something really similar inside. That's why it's really not so great for growing inside if you get the right phenotype that it was actually bred for to be outside and throw down five to seven pounds, three pounds if you're even a novice grower then it's going to stretch three to five feet. Um, if you have a limited ceiling height inside, once again, that's going to limit you. If your greenhouse is too short, that's going to limit you. Um, it's a very surprisingly strong, durable strain. Well, that's really not surprising. So it can go straight outside. In a greenhouse, it thrives. It's definitely different than the way the indica and the cush strains grow very short and very stubby. Um, the effects of so feeding is it's very light. This strain does not like to be fed heavy. It's particular. So, growers out there that like to push their plants really hard, this strain probably isn't for you. 
beginners that like to push their strains really hard, this strain probably isn't for you. But if you're a long-term grower and you know that just because a plant doesn't take a lot of nutrients, it doesn't mean that your yield isn't going to be big, then this strain is just for you. The three phenotypes that I've personally seen grown have all not taken nutrients very well. But if the person knew that, the finished product has come out excellent. So, I'm Mr. Chronic. I just want to let you know a few things about Pineapple Express. One other thing is that it's pretty durable against mold and mildew and pests. The train wreck influence is pretty awesome. It's not airy like you would think. The buds grow real nice and full. I actually have a sample bud. Um, this is from last year, and this is the very bottom of Mr. Top's bag. So, that's not the biggest nug. Um, so, I can tell you a little bit about the smell and stuff of the finished product. It's pretty sweet. Tends to smell of apple and mangoes with, of course, a pineapple, pine, and often cedar finish. The nugs are typically very large and not super fat but very, very thick. The high and the effects were super uplifting and euphoric. It sparked a bunch of creativity and energy. Um, got things done and I was able to be baked while I did it. It's great sativa high with a little bit of relaxing in the eyes and the body and the mind, but not too hard. So, I'm Mr. Chronic. That's Pineapple Express strain information. Remember, Got no chronic, get some.